Greetings, fellow cosmic explorers. Today we're embarking on an incredible journey into the depths of space to uncover the mysteries of Kepler 62e, a distant exoplanet that has captured the imagination of scientists and space enthusiasts alike. I'm Jerry, and in this video, we'll delve into the intriguing story of what Kepler 62 Wien is and how scientists managed to find this distant celestial gem, the Milky Way Galaxy and the Kepler Space Telescope. Kepler 62 e The universe is vast, and its wonders seem endless. Kepler 62 e is one such wonder, a world beyond our solar system. Join me as we explore the details of this intriguing exoplanet and unravel the captivating tale of its discovery. Kepler Space Telescope Let's explaining the mission and objectives of the Kepler Space Telescope. Our story begins with the Kepler Space Telescope, a remarkable observatory specifically designed to search for exoplanets, which tells us about the distant world. Let's know about Kepler 62e. Kepler 62e, also known by its Kepler Object of Interest designation KOI 701.03, is a super-Earth exoplanet, extrasolar planet, discovered orbiting within the habitable zone of Kepler 62, the second outermost of five such planets discovered by NASA's Kepler spacecraft. Kepler 62e is located about 990 light years, 300 parsecs, from Earth in the constellation of Lyra. The exoplanet was found using the transit method, in which the dimming effect that a planet causes as it crosses in front of its star is measured. Kepler 62z may be a terrestrial or ocean-covered planet. It lies in the inner part of its host star's habitable zone. Kepler 62e orbits its host star every 122 days and is roughly 60% larger in diameter than Earth. Mass, radius, and temperature. Kepler 62m is a super-Earth with a radius 1.61 times that of Earth. This is just above the 1.6R limit above which planets may be more gaseous than they are rocky, so Kepler 62e may likely be a mini-Neptune. It has an equilibrium temperature of 270 K, 3 deg C, 26 deg F. It has an estimated mass of 4.5 M, although the true value cannot be determined. Upper limits place it at 36 m, which is unlikely to be true. Kepler 62. The planet orbits a K-type star named Kepler 62, orbited by a total of five planets. The star has a mass of 0.69 m and a radius of 0.64 r. It has a temperature of 4,825 K, 4,652 to guide 8,405 degrees Mars, and is 7 billion years old. In comparison, the Sun is 4.6 billion years old and has a temperature of 5,178 Ma K, 55215 de K, 9,041 de Graf. The star is somewhat metal poor, with a metallicity, VH, of 0.37, or 42% of the solar amount. Its luminosity, L, is 21%, that of the Sun. The star's apparent magnitude, or how bright it appears from Earth's perspective, is 1365, and therefore too dim to be seen with the naked eye. Orbit Kepler 62e orbits its host star with an orbital period of 122.3 days at a distance of about 0.42 AU compared to the distance of Mercury from the Sun, which is about 0.38 AU, 57 million kamesa, 35 million mi. A 2016 study came to a conclusion that the orbits of Kepler 62f and Kepler 62e are likely in a 2-1 orbital resonance. This means that for every two orbits of planet E, F, completes one around its star. Kepler 62e receives 20% more light from its star than Earth does from the Sun. Habitability. Given the planet's age, 7 plus, 4 billion years, stellar flux, 1.2 plus, 0.2 times Earth's, and radius, 1.61 plus, 0.05 times Earth's, a rocky, silicate iron composition with the addition of a possibly substantial amount of water, is considered plausible. A modeling study suggests it is likely that a great majority of planets in Kepler 62e's size range are completely covered by ocean. However, given that some studies show that super-Earths above 1.6 r may have a volatile rich composition, similar to a mini-Neptune, and Kepler 62e's radius is estimated to be 1.61 r, 
it may be a gaseous planet with no definite surface and thus may not be habitable to known terrestrial life forms. Another factor that is critical is the stellar flux for Kepler 62e. At 20% more than that which Earth receives from the Sun, it is possible that the surface temperature of Kepler 62e may be over 350 K, 77 degree A, 170 degree F, enough to trigger a runaway greenhouse effect. Such flux may reduce the habitability factors. Discovery and cultural impact. In 2009, NASA's Kepler spacecraft was completing observing stars on its photometer, the instrument it uses to detect transit events, in which a planet crosses in front of and dims its host star for a brief and roughly regular period of time. In this last test, Kepler observed 50,000 stars in the Kepler input catalog, including Kepler 62. The preliminary light curves were sent to the Kepler science team for analysis who chose obvious planetary companions from the group to examine further at observatories. Observations for the potential exoplanet candidates took place between 13 May 2009 and 17 March 2012. After observing the respective transits, which for Kepler 62 in occurred roughly every 122 days, its orbital period, it was eventually concluded that a planetary body was responsible for the periodic dimming this discovery and details about the planetary system of the star Kepler-69 were announced on April 18, 2013. On 9th of May 2013, a congressional hearing archived, 2014, 12-06 at the Wayback Machine by two U.S. House of Representatives subcommittees discussed exoplanet discoveries, have we found other Earths? Prompted by the discovery of exoplanet Kepler-62f along with Kepler-62e and Kepler-69c. A related special issue of the journal Science published earlier described the discovery of the exoplanets. Kepler-62f and the other Kepler-62 exoplanets are being specially targeted as part of the SETI search programs. At a distance of nearly 2200 light years, 370 PC, Kepler-62 one is too remote and its star too far away for current telescopes or the next generation of planned telescopes to determine its mass or whether it has an atmosphere. The Kepler spacecraft focused on a single small region of the sky, but next generation planet hunting space telescopes, such as TESS and CHEOPS, will examine nearby stars throughout the sky. Nearby stars with planets can then be studied by the James Webb Space Telescope and future large ground-based telescopes to analyze atmospheres, determine masses, and infracompositions. Additionally, the square kilometer array should significantly improve radio observations over the Arecibo Observatory and Green Bank Telescope. Conclusion Kepler-62M is a testament to human curiosity and our continued quest to explore the universe. Its discovery has expanded our understanding of exoplanets and ignited our imagination, reminding us that the universe is full of surprises. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. The end.